So the beauty part about cutting videos is that I have the ability to cause havoc for you watching it. So I hit pause, I erased everything, and we're now at step two. And we set it up where we said, let's remove the second power source, rewrite the circuit to the way we had it. And I didn't like how it looked, so it was minus the plus, minus the plus, minus the plus. I had the 3 ohms here, I had the 6 ohms here, I had the 12 ohms here, and I came back to here. 3, 12, and 6. And so what did we do? We said this was minus to plus, minus to plus, and minus to plus. And so what we're going to do here is these two are in parallel. That becomes 4 ohms. If we put the two in parallel, that becomes 4 ohms. That comes back. That comes to 3. And that means now we have a 7 ohm resistor. So we have 7 volts at a single resistor of 7 ohms. That means I got 1 amp of flow. All amperage leaves the minus. 1 amp goes through there. So that means there's 3 volts this way. And now that leaves me with 4 volts coming through here. So I've got 4 volts that have to be through here and 4 volts that have to be through there. So superposition is just laying on top of one another those values. How much current is coming through here? There is 1 amp of current in this direction, but now that 1 amp branches through here and here. And so now I've got 4 volts, 4 volts, and 1 amp coming in. So if I take 4 volts divided by 12 ohms, so 4 divided by 12 ohms, that is equal to 0.333 of an amp. 4 volts divided by 6 ohms, it's 0.666 of an amp. And there's my current flow. So this is going to be how we superposition the second part. I'm going to hit pause, clean everything up, bring it back to you on the second go around.